Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of this wonderful game. Virtuous Province is almost done, but today we do have two uh, tough topics on our agenda. Number one, we want to finish the tomb. And number two, there is a hard fight against Colonel Alexer Grey Grethan. Uh, which I definitely would want uh, to do as well. And then I'm pretty much sure we're done with uh, this episode. We have gotten the border pass to the next region, which allows us to yeah, continue our venture. It's just a question of which region are we taking, because I know there is the Drombach border crossing here. We got the Gosenberg border uh, crossing. But I also know that there had been a border crossing down here to Ederen. Might be the one that we need to uh, need to take. My biggest concern, frankly speaking, is to uh, go too fast. Maybe there's a border crossing here. I need to explore that as well. So Virtuous Tomb is the next go-to area. And the last time, oh yeah, uh, let me just really quickly update you on uh, some of the things from behind the screens. We got level six finally of Nem um, on Nemri. And look at that, we also found this fantastic sword. 20 um, plus 13 strength, so it deals 22 to 28 points of damage, and damage is increased 40% against targets without guard, which is fine, I suppose, for uh, her continuing to hammer down on those targets. Uh, our worst option at the moment is uh, JP here with his iron axe, and I wonder, could we? Maybe switch that one out. That way JP has protection if needed. And Nemory gets um, the retaliation, the powerful counter, which I think together with that sword would make sense. Um, other than that, I am contemplating taking this is an offhand because torch strikes deal a lot of damage and that could uh, make Anders more killing machine in melee than he has before. Oh yeah, in the last update, uh, Roby has leveled up. We've uh, found a bear of level seven. So yeah, I exchanged old, good old Roby and this guy now has 650 hit points. Holy smokes. Good. Many of the others are still level five or almost getting there. Now, we had a few issues here. Let's start with the statue, shall we? So we cleared that. We also know that we can't go in this direction, <coughs> which means we're not offering a Sephir. Hopefully that will do the trick. We've even gotten two sapphires back in return. And we can finally progress further. Well, we're being attacked by creepers. Luckily, I got the nice little torch here for us. Polly is moving up. Miss Grell moves up. Good, Paulie here. And unfortunately we can't uh, cheese our way to see the enemies, but it'll be fine, good. If 
Fun fact, you can't inspire someone if you can't see them. So we will need a lot of uh, clustering up. Is this going good enough? Yeah, you can't even hit these mole rats if you're in the dark. There we go, more mole rats. Um, that horn, however, works for everyone. And the creepers are joining us. Moves to here, kills that rat. Before then, moving over here. I like that I like that bow the new one first shot uh, 33 points of damage critical hit if the target has not been critically struck beforehand fantastic his new bow is the absolute best. All right, that's two down. Moving over here, okay. Good, sprinting over here. More red down. And uh, we are just gently moving to here. More of those creepers, unfortunately. over to flank <clears throat> before getting surrounded as well all right Roby with his higher level it's just going to be a menace he's a beast good quick move from everyone let's give him surround very nice helping over here That's a kill. Mm. 
And that's the second kill. Easy. Ah, we can't even repair everything. That's unfortunate. Okay, we have dis deciphered another rune. Damn it, we need someone who can break that. The staircase is flooded. Okay, well, apparently... We needed to drain everything. I wonder what kind of fish we can find down here. You fished up somebody. Okay. Range plus one sounds great. That's a normal torch. I wonder, shall we get range plus one or shall we get 10 percent more damage i think we're sticking with the 10 percent range was not that much of a problem The iron ore could be helpful, but yet again, we don't have anyone who has just improved their rank. No, we would always lose experience, and I hate when that happens. All right, blue triangle down here where's the yellow one we're still missing that should have paid better attention we know the red one. oh there's the yellow one okay well that should allow us uh, to work uh, with it so Triforce, I think it was that one and that one. The doors open. Let's explore further. All right, well, this time we're fighting against a proper bunch of enemies, level seven. This is not going to be easy, specifically since some of our armor is broken.
where is a good place to fight oh, this is super extended Polly, Miss Grell on this side, archers in the middle. All right, moving down here, protecting that flank. Good. End of turn. Are you kidding me? Move up. Start hitting that creeper. Before getting engaged in combat as well. Okay, that's a problem. So he moves to here. Hits that creeper. We need the extra veiler. Enders back onto his feet. And I think we're just blocking that for now. I think this is as good as it gets for now. Moving to here. That's a kill. And that's another one. Okay, well, Operation Protect Enders is in full swing. Look at you. Found another one of these little buggers. One, two, three. Moves up here and weakening this guy. Well, let's get him further down. More creepers. Yeah, let's fight that more red. I 
I think we're just going to pass because I want to try if we can capture one of these creepers. Those guys are pretty damn good. But they are humanoids, so potentially not. We will see. Let's pass on it. New round is starting. Oh yeah, we got chains. Nice. Alright, engaging into combat. Yeah, and I think we're just sticking with it. Creepers are dealing decent damage. Dilly. Wait, before we do that, let's speed everyone up. Yeah, that rat is not having a great day. Dilly. Moves up to here. Best friend bonus engaged. And look at that. Big fat critical hit. Followed by a kill. Unfortunately, Jim is still in the front line. I don't like that at all. So let's support him. How much would we heal? Uh, healing is neglectable. It's unfortunate. Twenty nine points of damage, sixteen, and this guy is down. Move over here, increase the damage of all damage dealers, and get some Valor back. There we go, poison for all of the rats. One down. Another solid hit. And a solid kill. Plus retreating to best friends. More rats. Oh yeah, double strike. I like it. There's still a creeper somewhere. Unbelievable. One. Hits the mole red. And then hides behind. 
roll the... And there's yet another creeper. Okay, cool. Move up. And start engaging the remaining reds. Holy speeds up everyone. He's burning. He should shed a little bit more light. Don't you agree? through the encounter. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. So, well, first of all, we need to heal everyone. And we got... Tubelion? Well, we can't rest now, guys. Not inside of the tome. JP Pauly finally got level 6. Great. Willpower is good. I think I'll give him some more movement. And did we have a one-hand weapon for him that was waiting for him at level 6? The answer is a solid no. Wait, wait, wait. The creeper has... Wait a second. Wait a second, let's shortly look at that creeper. Are you telling me he's just eating and is a full-fledged soldier? No, he just has a bit of equipment. Has no specializations. Every time this unit deals damage, uh, to, uh, every time this uh, unit deals damage to target's health, they are healed by the same amount. That's cool. So he has life leech and brutality. A little bit low here. You can even have traits. Okay, wait. So, a couple of things here, right? It's level 7. Can we... Oh, okay. He's currently neutral, but he is a prisoner. But we can make him a miner. And that would fully solve our problem. Not only would it solve our problem, but finally I can mine some more ore. And there is treasure of the ancient, that's why we are here. If we can get that restored, we would be absolutely Gucci again. Well, time for us to boogie out. Still don't know what is blocking that other side. But there is another mine down here. And thankfully we have now a proper blacksmith, a uh, proper miner letting the slaves mine. This game just has it all.
and with a miner at our hands we can finally break these last passages Okay, fair enough. That was the exit. Wow. Okay, cool. Good. Let me prepare everything and uh, then we're doing the boss battle. In the meantime, uh, we are just camping here for now. There is a lot to unpack. And this guy here, Tibalion, uh, is not really a party member, but he is the miner of the group, apparently. Gets constitution and strength. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, has decent health, shit armor and so on, but the rest is okay. Can we... Wait, we had backpack equipment for mining. Yeah, he can even carry that. Well, that's interesting. He can't wield any of the weapons, but he seems decent enough with his equipment. Anyways, guys, um, let's let me go and prepare for the big boss battle. Because this here needs re uh, repairing and we need to hit uh, the uh, town anyways. See you in a sec. All right, back in action. We do have one more big fight ahead of us. And it took me a while to even find out how to play, uh, place these pythons or pythons. But we are ready. To engage with that guy. Another boss battle. The Legion spares me the dishonor of being chased down by my own brothers in arms. That is most gracious on the general's part. The usurper finally shows a shred of decency. Unfortunately for you, that will not be enough to make me surrender. Level seven. Here we go. By the way, I renamed our I renamed our uh, creeper into Anket, a viewer uh, that is near and dear to my heart. Colonel Alexa, she does have the same problem as any boss has, way too many actions. We are starting with full valor. So I wonder if we should just turn her around. Give ovation. Start hacking her down and giving ourselves protection or deflection rather bloodshed what does bloodshed do uh, lose one health per application at the end of their turn and is then removed stackable unfortunately okay we will need to weaken her So that's the next idea. Nice little weakening. Moving slightly back. Continuing to hit her.
and I think we're moving over here for now all right we need uh, mm, we need percentage of hit point damage and plenty thereof which is where Enderus comes into play every melee character now finally I should have said that does have the anti-burning uh, trinket she's also poisoned moving up that's some decent damage I think the poison almost would have done more continues to have bloodshed and burning going maybe that can be healed we're going to find out she still has full health moving up just double checking can we heal bloodshed the answer is no damage more damage and she's slowed down I think we need to continue to poison her and not hit her move up lots of single target damage and we're getting some Valor back definitely stacking that uh, that debuff quite a bit there begins to hit and then move over here Getting everybody protection. Nice little, uh, mm, nice little hit there. Everybody gets orderly. Good bloodshed has happened. We have two turns enough to disengage. This grants us another valor. And we're moving to here and this potentially going to hurt a lot. Yeah, 56. Good. we're getting automatic deflection and I think she had the shield with the counter attack that's actually helpful because now we're talking 
Enders. We'll poison afterwards. Doesn't matter if he's burning. There is the crit. And there is the poison for the end of the turn. All right, now we're talking 157, holy shit. Hitting bed for, uh, back for 40, that's good. More single target damage. Into the crotch. And we got ourselves a nice two-handed splinter blade and a trinket also jim got a level up which i thoroughly enjoy uh, that is actually quite good improvement let's do that so in terms of his needs, he has enough willpower. His movement is actually fine. I think what Jim needs is a lot more base damage. And a better weapon, which he now finally can engage. He has that nice little pole arm. Look at that. He is now deals. Wow, very nice. Deals a lot of damage and we have saved the sharpening oil for you for more crit damage uh, for more crit chance. Now, of course, naturally the question of the day is are we going with more two handed weapons? This weapon here has slice and ice deal 31 damage to all units in the area. Damage is shared among units who have the same number of bloodshed. Oh, okay. Hmm. Look. Miss Grell's hammer is plenty good. But we can't go with just one tank. We could let Roby be the other tank, so to speak. And then we're just having more DPS. Uh, not sure if that's a good idea, Saiken. But on the other hand, he still has a lot of armor. I mean, that weapon is really damn good. And he has Wrath on top of it. Yeah, look, we're, we're going to test it out. I still have his defensive uh, layer here. I wish you could have two equipment sets so that you can simply switch around. That whole bloodshed is a great mechanic. Yeah, I think I think we could uh, work with that. 
I think we can work with that. So, uh, we have more or less done everything here. I believe that is it. Next stop in our next, uh, in our next episode will be the Border Pass. Which to Eldrun. The game sort of tells us where to go next. So Idoran is uh, the next target. That's down here. I will explore this part a bit more. And down here, all of that is not fully explored. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that off uh, screen, guys. And the next time we're going to see each other in Edoran. If you have a distinct... Um, uh, a distinct um, positive attitude to, to the group. If you like Enkit, our slave that is running the mines, uh, then give it a thumbs up in the, and a comment down below. How did you like the end fight? See you in the next episode. Bye bye guys!